This is officially the most nervous I've ever been to film a video. <laughs> Milan's already proven to be extremely expensive. The towel rack has lights. It's so fancy. Is that a bidet? For the next three days, I'm gonna be traveling solo for the very first time from Africa to Europe. It's so important to continually get uncomfortable. Anyways, I'm not letting anything get me down. Over the last 10 years, I've done a ton of travel, but I've never done it by myself. Hey, Beck, before you go, yeah. I got a challenge for you. Okay. Day one, you only get 100 euros to spend. Day two, you have to spend 1,000 euros. Buddy, and for those who don't know Beck very well, she's actually gonna struggle more with 1,000 euros. She's not very good at spending money. I'm already so Doodles. nervous. Oh, one more thing? <laughs> no, that's enough, thanks. I got an idea. That's enough, thanks. No, you have to make a new friend every day. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'll give you a kiss. Love you. <laughs> Love you more. I'll see you when I see you, huh? Okay. <laughs> Honestly, be safe and have a great time, okay? Okay. I miss you already. And have lots of fun and make new friends. Okay. Why are we doing this? I don't know. I told you I'd never leave you again. I know. Here we are leaving each other. Bye, buddy. I'm at the airport three hours early because I'm flying Ryanair. I'm doing it by myself and I'm just scared something's gonna go wrong. Bonjour, ça va? Because we have baggage? No, I carry on. Can I see it? Yeah. I don't know, it just feels like a lot. Yeah, but my instinct Look, is telling just... me because I've been on Ryanair. This is not You've got this obsession with Ryanair. On, I'm telling on you, Ryanair is so sketch. <laughs> yeah, just have a good flight. Thank you. Security check. Okay, that was hectic between checking in and security and customs. I have two minutes until I board. I was supposed to leave at 8.15. It's 8.15. Flight is three hours, do some math. I think we're in for a long, long night. It might be two hours late, but we're boarded. Do the boarding day. This is pretty hectic. There's no order and we're just getting in another line get on board. <laughs> Ryanair is a cheap airline and the last time I was on it I was backpacking through Europe and there weren't even assigned seating and I'm almost positive that you could stand like there weren't I don't know it's a hectic airline and it only costs $14 for this whole flight but they gouge you with not printing your pass 55 euros if you want to check a bag 50 euros should be interesting <laughs> see how this goes once again, ladies and gentlemen, you're already welcome on board the Ryanair flight operated by Malta Air with destination Bergamo Airport. I've been upgraded to the emergency exit, which means more leg room, but I had to put my camera away, so. See you in Italy! I have contained my rage for as long as possible. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Welcome to Italy. Oh, it's raining. Okay. It's 2:40 a.m. I have never been so happy to be in bed. Missing you, buddy. Buongiorno. 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 It's 9 a.m. Breakfast closes at 10 a.m. here. So even though I don't normally like to eat this early, I'm just gonna get up. Good morning, Milan. Get the coffee in me. Get some food in me because... Milan's already proven to be extremely expensive.
Okay, so at this point you're probably wondering, why was I crazy enough to do this on my own? A, I don't like fairies, they make me really seasick. And B, I was just up for a challenge of being super uncomfortable. Am I uncomfortable vlogging in public? Yes. Am I gonna do it anyways? Looks like it. <laughs> Plus, I don't think Eamon had this kind of breakfast on the boat this morning. I've got another 47 hours on board. And just to reiterate what I meant by getting uncomfortable, I can be quite introverted and I normally lean on Eamon to be outgoing and make us new friends and figure out the logistics when things go wrong. And I think I've taken a back seat to that sort of go-getter attitude you need when you're traveling. And over this last year going through treatment and just learning so much about myself, I think I've realized that it's so important to continually do new things and get uncomfortable. <laughs> so here we go. Let's talk game plan. The game plan. Today is the day I have 100 euros to spend. Now normally that feels like quite a decent amount of money, but we are in Italy's most expensive city. Cool. <laughs> and a huge part of me wants to just hang out in this airport area and spend all my 100 euros on just shelling up in a tiny hotel room and calling it a day, but no, we won't do that. We can't do that. So while I was at breakfast, I booked a hostel. Lucky for me, I um, have just had a huge acne breakout on my forehead. So maybe if I wear my hat backwards or like this, my pimples, I'll fit in with a 20 something crowd, you know? Where is everything? Like, what a mess. Oh here, oh wait, oh here. <sighs> Slow down, Beck, it's gonna be okay. And the crazy thing about the hostel is it still cost 53 euros and requires me getting into the city center. So we've gotta get organized. The plan is to take a five euro bus into the city center where I will find my hostel. I can't even get this done up, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Time for Backpacker Beck to do some backpacker things. I don't wanna leave so I'm gonna have a dance party in my room. <laughs> Enough to dance back, let's go! Hey, hi. Just checking out. Yeah. Like I said, the taxis are way too expensive. I would blow my entire budget. So we're gonna walk back to the airport. My hotel had a gym and I really contemplated going and then I realized on a budget, I'd probably be walking all day. <laughs> Thank goodness, I need to conserve these legs. Strong, independent women. You. Taxi bus, that's me. Hello. Hello. I'm looking to go to Milano Central Station. 12 euros? Okay. I'm desperate for water. I have 35 euros, but I gotta do this. However much you are. Natural. Are you sparkling? I don't want sparkling. Buongiorno. Grazie. Grazie. Ciao. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I was just watching back some of my clips because I'm a nerd like that and I want this to be a great video and I caught the clip of Amen at the beginning. What's going on with this thing? Mic test two, uh, mic test one. Okay, hey buddy, I just wanna let you know that I sincerely love you so much and I miss you and that's all. Hi buddy, I miss you. Hope you're having a great time on the ferry. See you in an hour. As someone who hasn't been to Italy in years, I think I thought Italy was overhyped. But just driving through the city center now, <gasps> pure magic. I'm so excited to be here. First off, we're off to find my hostel. Before I hop into my six person dorm room, I wanted to share that Eamon and I are having a Black Friday sale over at eamonandbeck.com. Both of our cookbooks are currently 50% off and will be for the next 
24 hours. If you are looking to get re-inspired in the kitchen, try something healthy and delicious this holiday season, then I can guarantee there is something for you in one of these books. They are digital eBooks, so you can instantly have the recipes right on your phone and easily accessible at any time. If you wanna try them out, go to aminandbeck.com. It's the one and only sale of the year, and we're just really proud and hope you love them as much as we do. Back to the hostel room. Welcome home. More specifically, I've been assigned bed C. That's my little locker. This is where I'll be spending the night. And none of my roommates are here yet. Pretty ironic because I know earlier I said Eamon takes care of a lot of things and I was this independent woman, but I don't have my Canon camera charger, so we've switched over to the phone. We have to go get a battery. I can't decide if this charger is coming out of my budget because then I won't be able to eat, so my bad. My big bad. <laughs> but before I go, this is a 10 second tour. So this is a six bedroom dorm. She said female, which I'm really stoked about because I think I thought it was mixed. And then we even have our own ensuite bathroom, complete with a shower, a sink, and a toilet. Is that a bidet? And a freaking bidet! I really miss my bidet. How posh am I? Does this sound good? Because this might be our option for a little bit until I get a charger. Anyways, I'm not letting anything get me down. Battery, no battery. We're figuring it out. We're skipping through the streets of Milan. Everywhere I look, it's just like so cute. Cute dogs, cute little cafe, cute tram thingy. And here we have my cute camera store. I hope they have a cute battery. Buongiorno, hello. Do you have batteries you for have this camera? Okay, I check. Mark two, thank you very much. It's official, Fabio from this camera shop here in Milan is the goat. He is charging my camera battery. He said, give him an hour, come back. It's gonna be zero dollars, so I don't have to worry about budget. I'll come back and I'll worry about it tomorrow. I'm thinking for now we find some pizza or pasta, we settle in and we just enjoy some people watching in Milan. I've ordered off menu and he would not let me get tap water so the pricing should be interesting. Fabio, I'm coming for you. Hello, Fabio. Ciao, ciao. Did it charge? Okay, thank you so much. Earlier today, I had the thought that people seemed so much nicer to me now that I'm alone. And then I started thinking this afternoon that maybe it's the energy I've been putting out. Maybe I'm telling people I am open to receive. Come be my friend because I've just been gifted so many beautiful things all day long one of which being a free metro pass at the hostel. I didn't catch that on camera, but they weren't sure when that was gonna expire, so I thought maybe I'd try it out. For a second there, I thought it was already expired, but that worked. 12 euro pass that I get to ride for free now. Thank you, kind stranger at the hostel. We wanna go there. That just saved me a 22 minute walk. much for a free ticket. <laughs> that did not work. Cost me five euros, but here we are. Ooh. On all the lists of what to do in Milan, the Milan Cathedral comes up as the number one thing to do. It's the third largest Catholic church in the world, so pretty impressive. The best part of having to walk everywhere is you really get a sense of the city. I thought I knew Milan by this afternoon, but I think this is Milan. There are people everywhere, there are designer stores, even the H&M looks designer. One ice cream with two scoops. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I had to. I literally had to. Pistachio and hazelnut. 
350, the best 350 I've ever spent. I'll gladly walk. And back when you eat this on the go. Oh. I've been walking for what feels like forever. My sugar high is done. And I've come to realize that I rely on Eamon so much. I never know how to get where we're going. And my internet is maxed, so I'm going off of feel. And I feel like I'm getting close. Look what we found. Yoo-hoo! Ciao. Home sweet home. It doesn't look like I have any roommates yet. To my surprise, having no roommates is kind of bumming me out. The second part of my challenge is to make a friend. And while I've been very friendly with lots of people today, I was kind of relying on my roommates to be my new friends. <laughs> I think I'll honestly just take it easy for half an hour or so and then maybe I'll head down to the bar to make some friends, bro. <laughs> Successful power nap. I've got my funky earrings on, which means I'm ready to go meet some friends. I actually got a welcome drink token earlier today. Haven't used it, so off we go. But I'm not bringing this camera, it's too intimidating. I'm trying to make friends, guys. It's 10 p.m. I know I didn't get to the shop, but I did make a friend. His name's Ben. He was very sweet from the States. Anyways, tomorrow's a new day and I get to spend a thousand dollars. How will I ever do that? I don't even have roommates here. I feel like I could just sleep here and be really, really happy. Thanks for a great day, everybody. But I had to be so much more present because it's like, no, I have to take notice of that thing. And if my phone dies, then I have to know how to get back, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. First thing I did was spend 500 on accommodation. <laughs> it was really kind of sweet last night. Angel and I got to talking about what it's like to be a solo female traveler. The biggest takeaway for me was how present you are. Things are always happening and you have to be available to just figure it out. As much as it's been fun, I'm looking forward to leaving the hostel today. <laughs> Goodbye hostel room. Thanks for the memories. Ciao. There's something I've wanted to do for a long time. So let's go do it. I've been walking around in circles. Can't find the place. Not the one I was looking for, but let's try it. Do you have room for a pedicure? Twenty-three. Twenty-three? Yeah. Scratchy. That was... That was worth every penny. Twenty-three euros down. I was just walking past the metro and I had a thought. A highlight for me yesterday was thinking I had a free metro pass for the day. Didn't pan out, but the thought was there. So what if I go pick up a day pass for a bunch of people at the hostel and go drop it off and make people's day? 
I really want to make people stay. Let's go. I have a few extra metro passes that haven't been used. Oh, we can thank you. pay it forward. Just for travelers, you know? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Hello, may I have one pistachio vegan and one hazelnut? I came back to the fancy part of town thinking it would be fun to dress fancy for my fancy accommodation. And I walked into three stores and I was like, I'm not a shopper. But I did get gelato for breakfast because I had to. 350. I walked very far for vegan pizza. I just walked 45 minutes for a vegan pizza and they almost didn't let me eat here. I know I came for pizza, but something about this dish was just calling to me. It has broccoli. I feel like I haven't had greens in a while. It's super fresh tasting. It's made from buckwheat pasta. All homemade. It tastes very homemade. Garlicky, lots of greens. Like, I think it's a Swiss chard. It's like, it's only a bit healthy. Very strange thing to dine alone. Gatti. Okay, thank you. Ciao, so much. ciao. 40-50 was the total, but I feel like I was supporting some local business people. We got some cheese to go. Are all vegan and homemade and are made with uh, cashew. And to be honest, I felt really sad dining alone. I'm just over enjoying things without Eamon. Especially when I find a totally vegan spot, I feel like that's something Eamon and I love to do together is eat and talk about food and it's sad. Life is definitely better when you have good company and good community. Okay, enough whining. Let's go to Lake Como. Hello. Bonjour. I'm looking to go to Como. Yeah. One way or round trip? One way, please. Five euro, please. The train leaves every hour a minute 43. Grazie, grazie. Europe is nuts. This and this are equivalent to an hour-long train ride. Also, I thought this was gum. It's not gum. Very weird. Very weird. Made it on the train and I made a new friend. Everyone, this is Alicia. Hi. I think I shocked her by being in Italy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> These guys just helped me grab a taxi, hopefully. <laughs> Bye, puppy! Ciao! Thank you! How is this real life? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna cry again, but for a total different reasons. <gasps> Whoa! Best elevator ride ever! Wow! Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a view. I have quite a bit of money to spend, and honestly, I don't want to spend it. Mm. What a couple of days. I've met amazing people, I've had a lot of good fun, but I hope Eamon's Ferry makes it tomorrow. I miss you so much, buddy. Do we want to talk about how fancy this bathroom is? Separate toilet, separate shower. <gasps> I've honestly put a lot of thought into whether or not I should do this, but... Hello, may I please order? Hello! Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. This is the first time in my entire life I have ever ordered room service, and it looks like this. Oh my gosh. Look at this bread. Oh, this looks amazing. Wow. That's the best carrot I've ever had. I've got Love is Blind playing. I'm going to enjoy some amazing food. Introverted Beck in her heart is so incredibly happy right now. 
I was waiting for the moment to arrive Waiting for the moment to arrive I was waiting Good morning, like come on. It's 9 a.m. I had a little party in my bed last night. <laughs> sounds worse than it is but really I just had such a good time binge watching that show that I got up at midnight again to just eat a little more bread it's probably why I'm not feeling so good this morning so shower is in order can we just have a moment to remember that yesterday at this time I was wiping my face with paper towel Saying how much things change in 24 hours. Speaking of, let's do a little mini tour starting with this bathroom, which is equipped with a freaking a towel rack that heats it. It heats your towels, you know what I mean? In here is like this little snack coffee bar. Most insane to me is this full walk-in closet where they charge six euros to wash your underwear. Six euros! That is lush. It's so lush. And that's your 10 second tour. Free breakfast. And you know what it means when I have my fancy earrings on. I don't really know what it means. Does it mean we're making friends? Maybe. Come on. They have made me an oat milk latte. This is a ginger orange juice and a soy milk granola berry. And this morning I can't stop thinking I'm grateful to be alive, which is heavy, but also really beautiful. Maybe it's also that I just haven't had this much time alone in a really long time to just sit and think. Eamon just texted to say he's arrived. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Thank you. 